guys welcome back to my channel and as you can tell by the title today is going to be another first impressions get ready with me testing new products type video I love doing these I do a lot of them on my channel and honestly there were some of my favorite videos to film because this way I get to test out a bunch of products and give you guys my opinion right away and review a bunch of products all at the same time so today I created this very warm halo eye with this dewy um, skin look and I love how it turned out I have a bunch of products that I mentioned in my haul video that I did while I was in America if you haven't seen that video I'll link it down below for you guys and I had so many products in that so I knew I had to break these type of first impression videos up into separate videos so this is the first one um, and there are many more to come but I will be trying out some new products today um, just chit chatting with you guys so without further ado let's get right on into the video all right so let's just get started I'm gonna prime my face using the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Lock um, Primer. This is not a new product to me or anything, but I do like using a mattifying primer, especially in the summer. Um, you know, when I'm aiming for like a dewy makeup look, using a mattifying primer will help that dewy look kind of stay in um, all day as opposed to using a more like dewy primer and then also dewy foundation. I just feel like it all um doesn't really stay on that long i'm just gonna slightly color correct today my skin's not been liking me lately i think it's the spf um my skin doesn't like spf so i'm just gonna take this uh, bell up here color correcting palette i'm just gonna slightly very very slightly color correct so now time for foundation. This is a new product to me and this is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. I have mine in the shade um, Cream Ivory and hopefully it's not too light but we'll just use some bronzer or something to you know, deepen it up. And this actually has SPF 15 and it has um, natural coconut derivatives in it so that's cool. It is supposed to be like a luminous, lightweight, buildable um, formula and it's supposed to be hydrating and everything so that sounds absolutely amazing so i can't wait to try it out this is the packaging right here it's actually really cute and then when you open up you get your like little sponge applicator which i'm not going to use today i'm going to use like a um, beauty sponge and then you have the foundation inside so i'm just going to take this l'oreal sponge right here it's already damp and i don't know how much of this i need so i'm just going to kind of dig in there the shade should be pretty good, but it will be a little lighter than my shoulder, so I'll just use some bronzer. That just blended out so easily. Did you guys just see that? Like, oh my god. I'm just gonna dip in a second time to go over here on the other side. This stuff smells <laughs> so good. Like, it smells just like a, um, like almost like a really fresh body wash or like lotion like a fresh smelling lotion this is exactly what this smells like and i love it like it, it doesn't feel like i'm putting on makeup it feels like i'm putting on like you know like a moisturizer or something that's awesome like but mold you really improved your smell on your makeup since the last foundation because their photo focus literally smells like paint thinner and it's kind of gross but i still love that foundation I'm actually gonna take this on the eyelids too, so I don't have to apply concealer on my eyelids. All right, so like looking up close and everything, this foundation looks amazing on the skin. I am so impressed. And let's just see if I can get more coverage in this cheek area. Cause I feel like, okay, yeah, this builds so, nicely i don't think you're gonna get a full coverage out of this i think medium is kind of where it stops but you're definitely gonna be able to choose between light and medium coverage because it's very easy to blend blend it out nicely it looks so luminous and pretty on the skin wow i am so impressed by that i will definitely have to keep using this because right now it's kind of one of my new favorites just right off the bat like i really like it if this wears well this is gonna be such an amazing product. All right, so let's move on to concealer. I'm gonna use the Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 from Maybelline, and I'm gonna go on this cheek area just where I would have wanted a bit of extra coverage, kind of spot concealing with this. 
I'm gonna take a bit of the Catrice Camouflage Concealer in the shade, what shade is this? Um, 005 Light Natural, and I'm just gonna do a dot of this under the eyes. I don't feel like doing a lot of under eye concealer today. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it today. So the shade is actually not bad. I do want to add a bit of um, liquid bronzer today before I powder. And this is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. And this is in the shade Sun Kiss. So I'm just going to shake this up before I use it. I learned to not use a lot of product with this. So I'm actually going to dot a little bit of this on the face already. And this will just help deepen up this makeup just a tad. So I'm just going to take the side of my blender and start buffing so I can use a little bit more, but see what I mean? Like it's very easy to build up. There's no point to apply a lot of product initially because then you'll be stuck with it. But this I thought would also be great to like mix into foundations because right now, because of my tan, I can only use about like, um, three foundations from my makeup collection so you know I can definitely mix this into my lighter foundations and then I can actually use them so this is really really cool I like it as a bronzer and I could also use it to darken up foundations and they do have more shades I know that so maybe you can find a shade that would work best for you okay time to set the makeup because it is looking a little dewy um I'm gonna be using the Maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade 10 Guys, I have been loving this. Like, it has become one of my absolute favorite loose powders ever. Um, I love the slight yellow undertone in this shade 10. I think it's beautiful. It does a great job at brightening the under eyes, making sure there's no creases or anything like that. It smooths on the skin great. Like, it's literally become one of the best powders I've ever used. Like, it just makes any makeup look stay in all day without looking too powdery or cakey like you can pack this on like i'm really packing this on and it does not look cakey like that's awesome so i will be doing like a ton of these type of first impression get ready with me i have so much new makeup that i try out and some of it like is kind of by brand like i got a ton of stuff from l'oreal so I think I'm going to do one whole video just regarding everything I got from L'Oreal. But make sure you stay tuned for more of these first impression type videos. Um, since I will be doing a lot of them since I do have a lot more new products to try out for you guys. Alright, now it's time to bronze up the skin. I don't have a new bronzer to try out, but I do have a new brush. So the, I'm just going to use my Positions Formula Butter Bronzer. I love this stuff. It's the best. But I have this Eco Tools Bronze Bookie brush. It's like a giant, like look how big this is. So I'm just going to use this to bronze the skin today. Since I do kind of have to do it all over to match. So just kind of doing like a padding motion with this. The bristles are longer, so it's not like it's a super dense brush. And then I can go down the neck with this too, which is awesome. Wow, this is like the biggest bronzer brush I've ever seen but I kind of like it it's like letting me do my bronzer super fast and easy that was just the easiest bronzer application probably of my life okay I will definitely keep this you know on my makeup desk definitely will be using it a lot especially now in summer when you're doing like a very quick bronze makeup look you can kind of just dust this all over the face and yeah, that brush was really nice, really nice and soft. Now time for blush. I'm going to be using this Note Cosmetics um, Luminous Silk Blush in the shade Desert Rose. I'll show you guys it right here. This is what this looks like. I also got this one in my July Boxy Charm. I'll link that video down below if you're interested in seeing it. Um, but I tried this blush out in that video and I honestly instantly fell in love with it. So I'm just going to dip right into here with a Wet n Wild um large stippling brush and i'm just gonna apply that to the cheek look how pretty that color is like it's so pretty very very pigmented so you only need a little bit of this but i've really really been into this blush lately and then i do like to apply a little bit like on the tip of my nose 
onto my chin a little bit on the forehead like I've kind of really been going crazy with blush lately I really really like the look of blush and that's unusual for me because usually I'll apply the tiniest bit of blush and I'm like okay okay that's that's enough but lately I've been really liking it especially for these more bronzy glowy looks time to highlight so if you guys don't know the essence pure nude highlighter is one of my absolute favorite favorite highlighters um and they recently came in with another one and this is the um pure nude space lighter and this is in the shade be my space light whereas the original is be my highlight so i'm gonna use be my highlight today the original since i am finally tan enough to use this i can never use this on my pale skin so i'm just gonna take some of this on a brush Oh, no, wait, I'm not gonna use that brush. I actually have a new brush to try out. This is the Wet n Wild um, fan brush. I actually have the full collection of the Wet n Wild brushes, but I never had the fan brush, so I found it this year when I went to the States, so I picked it up. So let's just go right into this highlighter. It's a very flimsy brush, so I don't know how I'll like it, but we'll, we'll give it a try. Oh. Okay, the highlight's gorgeous, but I don't know how I feel about this brush. Hmm. It's kind of like really, really flimsy. You see what I mean? Like I can't really, maybe on the nose. Hmm, I don't like this that much. Okay, moving back to my regular highlighting brush. So I'm just applying this Wet n Wild one. And then, Keep this bow, of course, we can't forget that. And then I'm gonna take the new one I have to try out and apply this on top. Now the reason being is this is a very icy highlighter and I wanted another base before I went in with this. So I'm just gonna take a tab of this. And go right on top, ooh. That just like took it to the next level and it has like a slight pink undertone. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera but it does have that slight pink um, undertone here. I'll swatch it for you guys. Maybe you can see it swatched. You see what I mean? You see like those iridescent pink shades in there? That's really pretty. And when I'm pale in the um, winter, this will be so pretty with like a purpley makeup look. Ooh, I'm so excited. But this formula right here, if you haven't tried these um, highlighters, you need to try them. They're the most beautiful, like satiny, luminous highlighters ever they're so pretty no glitter no anything it's just the perfect sheen all right i do have another brush to try out and that is the eco tools sheer powder brush it's just like a fluffy powder brush and what i've recently been into is once i'm done my face makeup i like to take a bit of a press powder so i'm just going to try out this brush here and i like to press it right in this zone right here to brighten it up and this just also helps blend out these complexion products here so I like to do this middle of the forehead. That's where I always get oily in the chin. Oh my God, this brush is so soft. This would be really good. Like it's a super fluffy brush. It'd be really good just to kind of powder on when you need touch up. So I really like that brush. I've been wanting to try Eco Tools brushes for a while. So I'm happy I tried some out. And now that I like these ones, I'll definitely have to go and get some more. All right, so moving on to the eyes, I have a new palette trial, and this is kind of the center of this whole tutorial. And this is the ColourPop Yes Please eyeshadow palette. Um, I know this used to say like cute AF on the packaging, but I guess they changed it. And this is what this looks like. Look how beautiful these shades are and warm and delicious. I love this so, so much. And I'm very, very excited to use it. So I'm just trying to think what kind of look I want to do today. That is the question. So I'm going to start off with the shade um, Mischief right in here this yellow shade and i'm just gonna buff that right into my crease that's so pretty i'm gonna dip into the shade gno i'm gonna start building that on the outer corner you do get some kickback in these shades, so I'm just letting you guys know, like there is that kickback in the pan. I am not bothered by kickback. It really doesn't bother me at all, but I'm just letting you guys know since um, if some of you out there are bothered by it so that you know it's there. And actually, I think I wanna do 
bit of a halo eye today, so I'm going to apply a bit of this on the inner part of my eye too. We're doing a very simple, easy eye look today, but I really just want to test out this palette. And I'm going to go into the shade Spoiled, this beautiful red shade. Okay, that one gave a lot of kickback. I'm just going to tap off my brush here, and I'm just going to press that onto this eye look. Okay, this is a gorgeous shade. Look how pretty that red shade is. Ooh, this is now mirror, and I just looked into it. It has like a slight brick red to it, so it's not like too much red, you know, it's just, just right. And then I'm gonna take um, the shade GNO again, and use this to blend the red into the crease. Going back into the yellow, you can see it's a lot of back and forth stuff with this look. But I love how it's like going from red to orange to yellow. It's really pretty. I'm gonna dip slightly into the shade French Kiss here. Ooh, this one's powdery. And I'm gonna use this to deepen out really close to the lash line right here. I'm gonna be taking a tiny bit of concealer to define that halo in the middle. I'm just gonna take this Catrice concealer and go right in the middle. There we go, that middle part is brightened now. I'm gonna take this beautiful, beautiful gold shade right here. Look at this. Oh my god, that's absolutely stunning. And I'm just gonna be using my finger with this at first, so just pressing it right onto where we put that concealer. Using your finger always makes shades really, really pigmented. And then, of course, going back into the brush we use for the red. I'm gonna use this to blend, blend, blend. This is the most important step for a halo eye since you don't want that harsh line. I'm gonna take a bit of Louis. It's like a really pretty shift. It's like a gold shift in it. Gold and pink shift in it. And I'm gonna use this on the edges of this gold. I think that'll be really pretty. Okay, that is gorgeous. I absolutely love that. So I'm gonna go do this look on the other eye and I will be right back. All right, so I'm back and now both eyes are done. I'm gonna go do the lower lash line now. Go in with the yellow shade first and kind of replicate what I did on the upper lash line. So I'm just gonna do the yellow, really buff it out. I love this palette, guys. Like, I literally was doing the other eye and because I already knew what look I was doing, it was so, so easy to do. Like, colors blended out amazing. I was so impressed. And I'm gonna take this shade GNO, just a tad on my brush, and use this closer to the lower lash line. So. The yellow I brought out the most, and then the orange, we're going to keep it a little bit tighter. And then with the red, I'm going to keep it the tightest. So I'm going to get that gradient effect on the lower lash line as well with these shades. And then I'm going to take um, the shade Full Zip. I'm gonna use this to highlight the brow bone. Ooh, I love that color. I love, I love a great brow bone color. It's so good. Then you get a creamy white like this. Like you don't want it to be stark white. You just need a bit of an off white and it creates the perfect uh, brow bone highlight, especially for my skin tone, I think it works really well. So this palette, I love. You can already see how much I've digged into these shades. These shimmers applied beautifully, mattes applied beautifully, everything like that, and I'm very, very impressed. So let's just keep on moving with the eyes. I'm gonna apply the Maybelline Define Lash Mascara um, because I am gonna apply falsies. I just want a very light coat mascara, and this one just kind of applies a very, very light coat. I usually don't use this when I'm you know, doing my mascara, but if you just want something that will blend into the false lashes, this is the perfect one. Now for lashes today, I'm going to use the Baddington Lashes in the Monroe 3D Silk Lash.
All right, and then I'm gonna use the Pure Nude Highlighter in Be My Space Light to highlight the inner corner of my eye. I like how the pink is complementing the other colors in this look. So now for the lips, I'm gonna be using this Buxom um, Vava Plump Shiny Liquid Lipstick in the shade Wine Me. This is like a little sample size that I got and I've never tried Buxom Liquid Lipstick so I'm excited to test this one out. It's a really pretty maroon color and I think it'll look good with this look. Ooh, pigmented. <laughs> Ooh, it's tingly. Like it has like a plumping sensation to it. Like not too bad, just a little bit. Last but not least is setting spray. I'm gonna be using this Mario Badescu facial spray that has aloe, cucumber, and green tea. So definitely a little bit squirty, but I already know that about Mario Badescu sprays. Um, but I love the ingredients and how they make my skin look so I can get past it. And then I always like to take a press powder with a brush and go again right in that T-zone right after I do setting spray. And this just melts everything together and makes it look amazing. So here is the finished look, guys. I actually loved like all of the products I tried out today. So I'm very happy with how this look turned out. I will definitely be using this um, foundation like almost every day now. I love how it looks. It's so, so natural and beautiful. The ColourPop palette is also a new favorite of mine. I love how it blends down the eyes and I love this look I created. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions video. Um, many more to come, of course. And if you guys like these videos, let me know down below in the comments or give this video a thumbs up to let me know but i love you guys so much i hope you are having a fantastic day please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye guys